Hey YouTube, Johnny D here. Just doing a video here today. Uh, before I gotta go into work. Still been doing those 12 hour shifts, so a little beat, but got a few uh, minutes to kill before I gotta go in, so figure I'd share this pipe with you guys. What it is, I showed you guys a, uh, I think I showed it this off in a, a video the other day. It's a uh, Falcon, I believe it's called a Shillelagh pipe. Um, it's a real cool pipe. If you guys don't know anything about a Falcon pipe, which I'm sure most people do, it's a uh, aluminum pipe and uh, it's got a removable briar bowl. You can switch it out with a bunch of different kinds if you want to smoke aromatics in one, English in another, Virginia's, whatever. And it doesn't ghost the pipe at all. You clean out the, uh, the stem itself with uh, alcohol and uh, switch out the bowls and you don't have any ghosting. I've only got the one bowl so far. So, uh, I smoke whatever in it, it doesn't really matter. I sw uh, smoked aromatics uh, and some Virginias in it. So, I don't really, <coughs> excuse me, I don't really have pipes that I uh, designate to certain tobaccos. Uh, yeah, I pretty much smoke whatever I want and whatever pipe. Uh, unless I heard that the tobacco is uh, prone to ghosting the pipe, then maybe I'll designate like a cob. The majority of the pipes I have are cobs anyway, so. But anyway, about this pipe, I got it from uh, James Barber Pipes. I think it was, I don't know if it's .com or something, but if you Google it, you can find it. I'm not sure if they have any more of these left. I got this a while ago. Another uh, YouTube presenter, probably gonna say his name wrong, but Redelric, R E. D E L R I K. He's out of the UK, I believe, and uh, he showed off his pipe. Uh, I think it was earlier this year, maybe the end of last year. And I've wanted a Falcon for a while, and uh, the normal ones are just straight. You see this little twist right here. Uh, they're normally just straight and with a black stem for the most part. Uh, those are the basic ones that you'll find. Uh, yeah, they're uh, real cool smoking pipes. And uh, like I said, you can get uh, different bowls. They have Mersham bowls, uh, Mersham line bowls, uh, a uh, lighter stain color. I think they call them the Hunter Bulls. They're uh, they're really cool though. So I get the uh, white stem and blue uh, draftal, I guess it would be, or dra uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's even called. Insert right there. You can't take the uh, stems out to change them out. I guess you can. I think that they're just press fit, but you might break the pipe, and for me, it's not really worth it. The fit and finish on it isn't the best, but I think I paid around 50 bucks shipped from the UK. So for that, I'm not complaining. So yeah, you guys uh, haven't uh, checked out these kind of pipes. I recommend them. They. Uh, they offer a nice cool smoke, and uh, if you're on a budget, it's a good option. Uh, especially if you can just change out the bowls, the same pipe works out pretty good. I'm smoking some uh, Dan Tobacco's Devil's Holiday, and it actually brings out the flavor a little bit better, I think, in these kind of pipes. I don't know if it's because it cools down the smoke or something, but.
there's no, uh, like with a cob, you'll get a little bit sweeter of a smoke sometimes. Uh, and even with briar, for some reason, a lot of the times, it'll taint the taste a little bit. But uh, this doesn't really seem to. So that's pretty much about it, guys. Just wanted to show that off to you. They've got a bunch of different colors and stuff, but I'm not really sure what they have left. But it's James Barber pipes. If you just, I think if you just Google that, it'll bring you to the website. And uh, thanks to <laughs> Reed Delrick. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but he's the one that pointed this out. And uh, that's where I found it from. So, thanks guys for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.